Nothing says I love you like giving a gift from Walmart, especially if it's on sale. And in the business of picking the absolute best and lowest priced gift, we may be interested in scraping raw data from Walmart so we can better make our selection and see what gifts and sales we have to choose from. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can browse walmart.com with just your web browser, no plugins or anything installed, and export raw data from the content you just browse. Like if you look at their sales or search through a bunch of products you're interested in, or even if you want to get some reviews and get that into a raw JSON file on your computer for free. If that sounds good, grab your sweatpants, let's get in the minivan and head to walmart.com. All right, so they're running some Black Friday promotions. I definitely want to take a look at this data because I can find all the things on sale. And if I look around, at this flyer here, it looks like all this data is generated on the fly in my browser. So the feeling that Walmart is sending my browser some raw data that I'm interested in, and the browser is converting it to the visual aspect that is presented on the page. Now, most web scrapers, maybe you've looked at doing this, will try to take the visual information and figure out where each bit of data is, which can often break and result in problems. Whereas the approach I'm going to show you is going to look at the data layer, the raw JSON that Walmart sends to your browser, and we're going to get the data that way. To do this, we just have to tell our web browser to record our web traffic so we can maintain a copy of all the HTTP traffic Walmart sends to our browser. So it's not that complicated. You just right click anywhere on the page and hit inspect, and then you'll see this developer tools show up on the bottom of the page. Now with developer tools open, that means it's recording, we just now refresh the page so we get a fresh hit of data back the browser is recording. And to check out the take, we then go to the network tab here and hit export har to get what's called a har file back from Google Chrome. You don't need to know too much about this type of file, just know that it contains the raw data that Walmart sent to us about those Black Friday deals. In order to get the useful data out of a har file, I'm going to show you a free tool that I provide designed to do exactly this. You just drag and drop the har file into this free tool, which you also use with your web browser, and it'll auto magically figure out where the interesting data is. It'll also group together common patterns of data access. So if you span multiple pages, it'll group all those requests together for you. You can also search through the data. So like I remember seeing in the catalog, the phrase pre-lit. So if I just type that phrase in, I'll automatically see where it is in the underlying data. So I can verify this looks like the Black Friday deals. And if I click on this button next to the disk, I can see the raw JSON data that Walmart sent to my browser now. So let's see what kind of goodies are in this file now. I can see the name of each product in the Black Friday deals, the sale price. I can see links to the images, which is cool. Also a link to the actual product. And I can also see the sales story, which looks like promotional text. And it tells me exactly how many dollars off the product is. So I can just sort by the highest savings and just go with that product. So while this JSON file is great for just poking around, it's not exactly usable with other programs. Like maybe I wanna open this up in Excel or put this in a database or somewhere else. How am I gonna do that? So traditionally, you would need to write a custom program to go through this exact type of JSON that's gonna vary website by website and then convert it into a CSV file. However, this is such a common problem that I added it to the Steve C data platform for premium users, where those users will see this parse button here next to the JSON. And if they just click it, Steve C will automatically convert the JSON into usable collections, which you can download in CSV format and then open up in Excel like this. So the Black Friday deals are a good start. And this is kind of cool because I can periodically check this like every day and see if I notice any trends or patterns in the prices. But what if I also want to kind of look at a category of items, like let's say Christmas trees. I can just go on Walmart and search for Christmas trees. Wow, keep in mind, I have my developer tools still open, meaning it's recording my traffic still. And I can browse through the search results. I can just go to the next page and the next page, et cetera, until I get bored. And I can adjust some of these filters here and take advantage of all the advanced search functionality Walmart has to offer. I can also uh, check one of them out. Like this one has a lot of reviews. Let's take a look and scroll down to the reviews and I can scroll through all these reviews. And while I'm scrolling through the reviews, 
my browser is recording this data for me, just like it was with the Black Friday JSON we saw. So when you're all done browsing Walmart for whatever reason, and you're really done this time, we can export har again and get another har file containing the added data we were browsing just now. And if I put it back in my free har file tool from Steve C, I can see all this wonderful data that Walmart sends me regarding the Christmas tree products. I can see the prices, the names, links to images, product descriptions even, which is cool. And I can also see the raw reviews and the ratings for individual products. And again, if I need them in CSV format and I'm a premium Steve C user, I can just click the parse button and download the CSVs I need. So here are all the Christmas trees in CSV format and here are all the reviews I looked at in CSV format. So what exactly is the deal here? Why did we have to do all this? This isn't necessarily the most straightforward or scalable way since we can't really automate manually clicking around walmart.com. Well, unfortunately, to do anything automated when it comes to scraping data, we would need to use an official API. Otherwise, I'm 99% sure it's against the company's terms of service. So Walmart does offer some official APIs I've looked at. They are, however, geared more towards, I'd say, affiliates and marketers. They're also complicated. I believe they use signed requests, which is a fancy way of saying it's going to be messy to work with. And also, I don't believe their APIs return all of the data we were able to get from the walmart.com website, like the homepage Black Friday deals. I'm pretty sure they don't make available via API. Now, just because you got this data legally doesn't mean you can go and do whatever you want with it. It's still Walmart's data. They still own the copyright, even to the representation of the data. You can't go and republish this file on your site or you know, use the images somewhere. Don't do that. You'll get into a lot of trouble. What you can do with the data, though, is basically anything you could otherwise do with the data we saw on the website. Like if you want to use this for your own internal records or if you're you know, tracking prices, I guess you could do that. Uh, I guess it becomes a gray area when you publish a price. Like if you want to build a price tracking website, I think some people have gotten trouble from that because of the argument that a price could be copyrighted. Um, I don't know. If you do anything where you publish the data uh, on the website or publicly, then you would need to check with a lawyer. If you're just using the data privately, then you're most likely in the clear. Another legal issue worth mentioning is that the free har file extractor shows us the underlying URL endpoint from which Walmart sent us the actual data. These are called unofficial API endpoints sometimes. And this is what the web browser is accessing to get the bits of data back it uses to show us. So even though I use the website normally and the web browser made calls to these API endpoints, if I were to access these endpoints outside of the official Walmart website, it may in some way, shape or form by a possible court be interpreted as trespass, even though the website was just going to access what I was accessing anyway, regardless. So this is a very great legal area. I can't recommend anyone go and test it. Uh, I'm just saying that it's okay to access the URL like we did in the HAR file while we're using the regular Walmart website. It may not be okay to access the endpoint directly. So please don't do that. I do have the endpoints listed in the link below where you can use with your own HAR files and you just drag and drop the HAR file and the endpoint is documented there. So the Steve C platform knows which domains to look for to find your data. Please do not try to reaccess this endpoint on your own. It's just there for informational purposes. So give this a try. Browse Walmart, export a HAR file, and just drag and drop it into the free tool I have linked to below. Let me know in the comments what kind of data you're able to extract. I'm sure there's a lot more data I didn't cover in this video, so let me know what you find in the comments below. Please like if you learned something, subscribe if you want to see more, and go and use this data for good. I hope it can help you out. Thank you for watching.